Yeah, hi everyone. So, a friend of mine asked me to give an opinion about what I think on the threads, right? Uh, the threads that was launched by Meta, and it's a new app that was supposed to compete with Twitter. You see, um, so many apps have come before. Uh, we've, we have had uh, Pala, we have had um, Truth Social, we have had Gab, we have had so many other apps that have come before. All of them have been trying to rival Twitter. And Twitter, to me, I consider Twitter as the king of social media. If it's not trending on Twitter, then it's not trending at all. That's what I always think. And I believe in, actually, because most of the conversations are driven on Twitter. Twitter drives so much conversations and people talk so much on Twitter. Now, if you if you look at how Twitter has been growing over the period of years, uh, Twitter has become one of the most powerful apps across the world, yeah? And it has had over 300 million uh, users, right? And if you look at how Threads has come up, Threads did quite a good strategy. They had a very great strategy in terms of launching it. Uh, if you look at how Mark decided to, to roll out Threads, um, it was during a time when Elon, on the other side, people had believed that Elon has started to a focus on making money rather than um, creating a platform where the users can be able to enjoy free speech, right? So that made Mark take advantage of, of it and roll out threads. Threads is basically just a photocopy or a copy or a copycat that is of Twitter. But if you look at threads, it does not have all the features. Uh, initially, thread um, had garnered like a hundred million users. Right, and uh, for the past uh, week, if I may face, say so, Thread has been dropping in terms of the number of daily users, and it has been dropping very fast. Now, here are some of the reasons as to why I believe Threads cannot; it will never be able to replace Twitter. Now, there is some cold war between the people who are usually on Instagram and the people who are usually on Twitter. You know, Twitter thrives on messages, right? conversations on text most of it thrives on twitter if you look at um, at instagram instagram thrives on the graphics the videos the photos etc now when they were launching threads threads had been has been linked to instagram in that if you delete the account it was that if you delete your threads account you can't delete it without deleting instagram right and if you look at most people in kenya here this is the context in terms of um, the people who use Twitter in Kenya, that is um, all what I'm talking about is based on Kenya as a country. This is my opinion on the same. So if you look at Kenya, for example, most of the people who use Twitter dislike Instagram a lot. And most of the people who use Instagram do not thrive on Twitter a lot, right? So it is unless you're just a public figure, you're already known to everyone, it is, that's when you might thrive on both applications before people because people want to know what your contributions to different conversations are otherwise if you are just the common person it's difficult to thrive in both instagram and twitter so most of the people who do well on twitter cannot do well on instagram don't do well mostly on instagram and if you look at threads it is linked on instagram right and now here's the challenge you see this is like threads giving a head start to people who are on instagram but those, one, those ones who are on Twitter and do not really like much of Instagram, it means these guys are going to have to start from scratch. And it is so difficult for people to start from scratch to begin with. So it's quite hard to find people um, just starting up again. It's difficult work for most people. They would rather let me just go remain on, on Twitter and keep the conversations going on Twitter because I might have like 300 K um, followers on Twitter. And when I come on threads, I have to start from zero because I cannot auto follow people who are on Instagram because I do not have the app, right? So those who are on Instagram can do the auto following, which makes them have an upper hand than people who are already existing on Twitter. So I don't know if you guys are getting me up to there. So those people who are on Twitter, they'll come and look at this app. It's still like the child of what Twitter is. It does not have a lot of features. It is more like a skeleton app. 
if I may put it, it is like a skeleton app of Twitter. It doesn't it is limiting, right? And that is one of the things that is a turn off to most of the people who are on Twitter that might have wanted to explore threads. Now, here is someone who has a huge following on Twitter and they have come on threads and they have to start on scratch, uh, from scratch. And threads is limiting at the same time, you know, it does not have all the features that Twitter has. What is this person supposed to do? And if you look at threads, people who are on Instagram, the ones who have been given a head start, do not like Twitter yet. Threads is like Twitter, meaning people who are on Twitter are likely to thrive on threads way better than people on Instagram because they're used to what the threads look like. But now when they come here and they find it does not even meet the threshold of what Twitter is all about, they'll definitely walk away. And now the other, uh, the other thing is when they come to threads, they'll find people on Instagram who are used on posting uh, videos, task traps, etc. And most of the people might not feel ah. This is a, this is not, people will feel this is not the place I'd like to be, the people who are on Twitter. So they'll come, download the app, feel it's not satisfying, they uninstall everything, both Instagram and, and, and the threads, because they might have created Instagram or downloaded, downloaded threads uh, to create an account because they wanted to look at how it looks like. But when they find out that, nah, it's not it, then they are basically going to go back on Twitter. Now, if you look at currently, the amount of traffic towards thread has hugely dropped. It has hugely dropped. Um, even the number of um, people, active users, has the, number, the, the, the amount of time that people spend on the app has, has reduced from uh, 20 minutes to around 5 minutes uh, averagely. So most people are not spending much time on threads. I want to try threads. And trust you me, I had a huge challenge because my app could not open. It kept crashing. That was also another thing. And now, if you look at the launch of threads, when people who are on Instagram come on threads and find, ah, so this is what threads is like. And if it's a copycat of Twitter, and they have probably thrived a bit because they had an upper hand and there's some few engagement, they'll feel, oh, if this is what threads is about and Twitter is even better, they will shift now to Twitter. So the traffic will come out of these people who are on Instagram, on threads to experience it. It's like they'll be on an orientation to join Twitter. Now this traffic will shift from Instagram threads. Now they'll go to Twitter. So you'll find that with time, the amount of Twitter users are going to be more. Now, the other advantage is Elon Musk has introduced the payment of creators on Twitter. That will now even make it more interesting and people will not want to leave twitter because they'll get paid the other day as so many creators on twitter have been paid well from mr beast uh, if you look at people like andrew tate they have been earning a lot of money from twitter right they have been sharing the ad revenue elon musk has been sharing the ad revenue so that has created a platform where creators are able to earn money on twitter and that is also another thing by the time threads is also in a place where now they can be able to roll out something like that, it will take time. And even on Instagram right now, I, I don't think most people will earn so much as it would be expected if they roll out the um, creators program across or globally for the Twitter um, t uh, group, that is. So I still believe that um, as much as threads, it can be okay and can be a potential app to, to, to create conversations going, it still has not yet gotten to a point where you can say threads will replace twitter it will never replace twitter it will just be an option for those who cannot um uh, be on twitter because most of the people in kenya for example they hate twitter because of kot but you know most of the people on instagram do not like twitter because of the hard tackles that are always on twitter you know twitter as malema says twitter is very rough it's a street that is very rough if you cannot uh, manage to be on Twitter, you just uninstall the app. So I think Instagram has been um, one of those places where people who cannot handle Twitter go there. And now the threads is there. Right now you log in on threads and you feel like you're attending a therapy session. People are there like, talking about how Twitter actually um, exposed them to so much um, cyber bullying, if I might say so, which is not a good thing, by the way. Uh, so I still believe we can still have these conversations and I still believe that threads 
has great potential to be quite a good app, but it will take a lot of work to actually make it better. Because if you look at um, even Mac, Mac had disappeared on threads. It's just like yesterday that he made another post, but it had only took him like a week before he made another post. So it was also kind of a turn off to some people who were saying that uh, you can't launch an app and you're not active there yet you are the CEO and you are the founder of that app. You know, it, 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 it kind of sent a message to other people that Threads is not all that as people have assumed. But personally, as someone who has had an experience on Twitter, I don't think thread the threads still meet the threshold because currently if you go to the threads, it's all about gains, follow trains, etc. Just like Twitter used to be way back before all that was considered spam so that the, the timelines have been cleaned. So it's good conversations that are now active on Twitter. So the threads, it's a good thing to experience, but I can't say it is an app that will be able to replace Twitter. So to me, I still believe it is just an option. It is like the Pala, it is like the Gab, it is like the Tooth Social, it is like all those other apps that have come up to try and make or rather replace Twitter, but they can't be able to do that at the moment because Twitter has grown to be one of the most powerful um, apps. And also the other disadvantage of all this app, you know, there is the issue of censorship, you know, censorship on Instagram, that is. And if this is transferred to threads, it will make so many people feel like, no, it's not worth it because there's too much censorship here, you know. That is what th that is what has also discouraged other people because if you look at how um, Elon Musk has been making Twitter have or uh, to be better and free speech has been accepted, the opinions that are not censored, you are allowed to talk etc. And he is also engages with uh, with with people on Twitter. It has made Twitter grow even become much better. So I still believe that um, threads. It is a good idea, but. It's not yet as good as how Twitter is. So that is my opinion at the moment. But I still believe that, um, yes, those people who are on Instagram have an upper hand in terms of gaining followers on um, threads. But I still believe that those people who are on Twitter have a higher potential of thriving on threads than those people who are actually on Instagram. So that is my opinion on the same. I just thought maybe I could drop that opinion here and talk about it so that you guys can be able to know what I think about it. Because currently the numbers of threads are crashing and it is actually going down and down every day. So that is my opinion. Um, and thank you for watching this video. If you like it, you can share it. You can leave a comment on what you think and why you think Threads is probably flopping at the moment. And if you think it will be better or if you have a different opinion on what I've just said, you can share with me in the comment section and I'll be able to respond. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day.